Hey everyone, some of you may remember my constant struggle between my filaments and wonderful Florida humidity. This plastic, both ABS and PLA, tends to soak up moisture from the air like it's no one's business, and that can cause problems with print quality because the moisture in the filament starts to boil and it causes bubbles and pits in your prints. And as much as I love to fix this filament by throwing it in the oven, which you can watch me do by clicking on the screen or the link in the description below, it's not ideal because, you know, it tends to warp the spool, it tends to cause problems, and it takes a long time. So, I'm going to try to prevent that by using this. So I have purchased a Ziploc weather-tight box. It's a 40-quart container um, that comes with a nifty lid that has a seal in it. And hopefully this will keep it out of the humid air. The area where I'm keeping my printer right now is in a basement setting, and a basement in Florida is just terrible. So the idea is that with this being a weather-tight box, I can put all of my filament in it, lock it up, and keep it away from the air, which hopefully will prevent humidity from getting too friendly with the filaments. But that's not it. I've also purchased this. This is an EvaDry uh, dehumidifier. It's filled with silica crystals and it pulls the moisture from the air. And the cool thing about this unit is it cost $18 on Amazon. I've linked to it below and it's rechargeable. So once the crystals uh, kind of fill up, it will indicate here and you can just plug it in. And this contains a, a heater element and that will heat the crystals and drive the moisture away from the crystals. And then you can then put it back in. Apparently this has a 10 year lifespan, so this should last quite a while. And I'm hoping that this unit will be able to just be placed in my sealed box and that will keep everything nice and dry. So with the dehumidifier in here, hopefully that'll be enough to pull all of the moisture out of the air and keep everything nice and dry. And the nice sealed weather tight box will prevent any more moisture from getting in. And hopefully this will increase my print quality and, you know, cause me less of a headache and less times me having to bake my filaments, which just seems very weird. So that's it for today. Just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to be storing my filaments and I'll keep you guys updated to if this actually does keep the humidity under control and if this box does what I expect it to. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.